hello and welcome back to another interval workout. We are on the machine today and we have stepped it up a little. Today's workout after your four minute warm up is eight sets of two minutes on, one minute rest. So we've done one on, one off before and if you haven't you should check it out. Two on, one off means we need to go for consistency and control in the two minutes given that we've only got half the rest time. Eight sets, we'll talk you through it. Let's get trotting. Set yourselves up so you're in a good start position on the machine. We'll go for a nice steady rate 20 warm up to begin with. Handles up, let's go. So we don't need a lot of pressure on this, not to begin with. We're just moving through the motions. Warming the body up, getting all the muscles firing that we're going to need later. It's a good chance to check in with the body, see how we're feeling today. And also remind ourselves of our technique. Each stroke, control the recovery to set the body up for the next one. Moving through nice and gently. Finding a steady rhythm. Sitting up tall. Let's make sure there's a decent amount of engagement in our core. So that when we drive with the legs, the handle and the hands come with us. One more stroke and relax there. Don't go anywhere. We are on for our workout. 
For those that want to set it, it's an interval, two minutes on, one minute rest. Select a workout, new workout, intervals on a time, two on, one off. I'm setting it so that I can keep you on track. If you don't want to set it, go when I say go, stop when I say stop. Simple. As I've mentioned before, and I will continue to mention, it is all about consistency. So let's find a steady rate we can hold for two minutes, and then let's try and repeat that each rep. The more consistent you can be from rep to rep, the better. But that doesn't mean finding an easy set and sitting there and not really trying. Because we want to work hard, we need that time to recover, do the same again, squeeze the finish. You with me? I'm going to take that as a yes. Let's strap ourselves in. Get the machine set. Get ourselves set. Handles up. First two minute rep. Sit ready, attention, rope. Two minutes on the clock. Settle into your rhythm once you've got a little bit of power. The rest is not long, so don't go anywhere. Water nearby if you need it, or shout at someone and get them to bring it to you. Nice deep breaths. If you can, take a little log of how far you've gone, or how fast you went in that set. You might find the second one goes a little bit less far. That's fine, but we're trying to keep consistency. So as close as possible. Nice deep breaths. Recovering that heart rate, lowering, lowering the breathing rate. 10 seconds, round two. So let's sit forward and get ready. Set, go. Round two, find the rhythm again. Let's go for that. Good stuff. We should be on that rhythm now, working strong.
Well done, folks. Coming up the halfway through. Keep on it. Focusing on recovery right now. So hopefully in that second round, you didn't lose too much from the first. If you did, but you know it was in your head, let's focus in next time. 20 seconds, round three. We're getting into the meeting session. 10 seconds. That rest isn't long, but it's enough, hopefully. Set, go. Round three. On the legs. That's what's going to get you what you need. Work on those big muscles. Squeeze. Well done. One more brings us to halfway. Easy, some might say. So let's think about that rhythm. Make sure you're setting yourself up each time. Into the start, into the start of the drive. Into your catch position, for those that know it. Up here, we're sitting strong. Strong in the body. Strong in the arms, strong in the legs and the glutes. Those are the big muscles that you need to work. Let's think about really driving with those. 15 seconds, round four. We've got this. 10, so let's sit forward. 
five, set, go, round four coming in, just keep doing what you're doing, with a little squeeze on the glutes. Well done. That's halfway. Have another moment. Grab a drink if you need it. When I talk about sitting tall, I don't mean I want you to row upright. I mean I want you to row with a hinge rather than collapsing. So we sit tall, we set the body, we don't collapse in, we sit tall. Got it? 20 seconds till round five. This is a mean one. But I guess the shorter the rest, the quicker the session goes, right? No bad thing there. 10 seconds, round five, sit forward. Five seconds. Set, go. Just keep doing what you're doing. Find the rhythm, feel the squeeze.
Nicely done. Just take the rate down, take the pressure down, and row through for two minutes. Better that you do that than you sit still for four. So just take it back a step, come back in when you're ready. Round six in 15 seconds. Pick up handles again. Ten. Five. Set. Go! Round six. Let's do this. We want to go for long strokes, but not the expense of that collapse in the back. So sit strong, sit tall. Row well. You can tell I'm getting tired because I'm running out of things to say whilst we're rowing. I never run out in the, in the break. Okay, two left. Game on. Round seven. The challenge is to keep doing what you're doing. My view is if we've been consistent throughout, we're still consistent now. If you go crazy now, and then have a really rubbish last one, you're gonna finish on a downer. So let's finish on a high, consistency, and then we'll see what we've got in round 10. Eight, 10, wow. Definitely not doing 10. 15 seconds. Penultimate round, stay controlled. And if I don't speak, hear my rhythm? Five seconds, I'm with you all the way. Set, go. And I'll swim around. Keep doing what you're doing. It's great.
bring the split down. If it doesn't, it's not worth it. Settle back in. But let's see what we've got. We'll go steady for the first minute and slowly build. You with me? I know you're with me. We're all together. 10 seconds. Final rep. Let's make this good. Row well. Five. Set. Go. Final rep, folks. Let's do this one good. Settle in. Find your rhythm. Don't go crazy just yet. Two minutes is longer than you think. Find your rhythm. Find your technique. Be efficient. Get on with the day. 
go settle down for your afternoon or evening, depending on when you do this. Moving through nice and gently. Having a little think about what you've done today. It's been great. If you've recorded your scores, you can look back over them. See how consistent you were. Did you do what Claire asked? And it also means that next time you come to do this session again, Maybe in four, six weeks' time, you can see it can go a little bit further every breath. Show you improvement in fitness. One more stroke. And relax. Handles down, feet out. Let's stretch. My favourite bit. We're going to start standing. You need to hold on to something you can. Quad stretch to start, one foot up behind. Keep hips in line, knees in line, and just feel the stretch down the front. And then when that's relaxed a bit, you can just push through with your hip a little bit further. Extend the stretch up into your hip flexor. It's also a good time to let your heart rate come down, breathing rate settle. Swap over. Oops. I think sometimes I like to talk because it regulates my breathing. Other times I should just shut up and breathe, like now. Excellent, we'll go into hamstrings. One foot out in front, and then hinge forward, keeping that leg straight till you feel a stretch down the back of that straight front leg. Reach towards your toes. Your alternative is, if you want to, down on the mat, on the floor, and sit back into it. A third option is to lie on your back and stick your foot in the air, but I'm not gonna do that one. Excellent, let's swap that over. One foot out in front, just lean back into it. Feel the stretch down the back of the leg. Legs should have done a lot today. Only I say that because rowing is a leg workout. Yes, you're holding onto a handle, but we don't need to pull it. Good stuff, final stretch is for your glutes. Another big muscle that's worked today. We're going to either stay standing, one ankle on the opposite knee, sink down into it, or you can lie on your back, ankle on the opposite knee, then take hold of this back bottom leg, pull it towards you. A figure four stretch. You should feel it outside hip of the bent knee, bent leg. Excellent, swap that over. Final stretch with me. Just try and open the hip out as much as you can, pushing on the knee in either position. Excellent. Like I say, final stretch with me. If you want to do any more for any other bits of your body, your back, whole body, then feel free to. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. Well done, folks, and I will see you again soon.